Okay, so this video is going to be on the Boyer-Moore Horsball algorithm for string matching, um, sometimes known as just the uh, Horsball uh, algorithm. Um, and so we'll go to the whiteboard and I'm going to illustrate it by a couple of examples and then we will briefly discuss the efficiency of this algorithm. Okay, so uh, here we have the first example um, and we have a super string here which we're going to be searching and here's what we're going to be searching it for the substring DAS and uh, obviously that is going to be here so uh, in the algorithm first step is to uh, come up with a couple of local variables um, we're going to have local variable M which is going to be equal to uh, the length of the substring 3 in this case and uh, we're going to have another local variable I which is going to be equal to that value we just calculated minus 1 so in this case it's going to be i equals 2 and uh, once that's done we move on to the preprocessing step and the preprocessing step for this algorithm is uh, basically constructing a table um, of the entire alphabet um, so in this case obviously the, using the Roman alphabet so it's going to be a b c d through to um, through to z and uh, what we do is we have a table um, so first of all we're going to have the actual letter of the alphabet and then we're going to have a corresponding um, value uh, which is going to be a shift value um, and we're going to set this is equal to m for every single value in the table so all going to have a shift value of 3 in this case and uh, then what we do is we look at the substring and we take the uh, very first uh, part of the substring which in this case is D um, and we calculate briefly um, the index of this so D the index is going to be 0 um, it's the index within the substring obviously counting from 0 so the index of here is 0 we're going to add 1 to that number, so we're going to get 1, and we're going to subtract that from m. So we're going to get 2. And so what we do is we go to our table, and we change the value here. That's going to be equal to 2. And we're going to do the same thing for a. So we're going to take the index of a, which is going to be um, 1 and uh, we're going to add 1 to that, so that's going to be 2 and we're going to subtract that from m, so we're going to get 1 we're going to get 1 so a is going to be set equal to 1 in this table that's the shift value for a and then we're done, we don't have to do that for s because it's the last value in the uh, substring Okay, so now we move on from the uh, pre-processing to the actual processing of the string. Um, and how this is done is we uh, compare the last character of the substring. So for us, this is going to be S. And we compare that with the index, I, that we calculated to begin with. Um, and so we compare F and S. Are they the same? They're not and so what we do is we increment i and we're going to do that we're going to set i to be equal to i plus the uh, shift value of f which in our table here it's going to be somewhere around here it's going to be uh, 3 because we set everything to 3 to begin with so we're going to increment i by 3 and we're going to get 5 and uh, essentially what we're doing here is we are moving where we're comparing so now we're comparing S and Y so we compare S and Y are they the same? they're not the same so what do we do? we increment I by the value of Y which is again 3 so we're going to get 8 and we move the entire thing oh whoops I made a little mistake there and then we will shift along the whole thing by 3 
And now we compare A and S. Are they the same? No. We look up A in our table, and A here is not 3, it's 1, because A was present in the uh, substring. So we know that we have to shift this along not by 3, as we were doing before, but we're going to have to shift it along by 1. So we shift the whole thing along by 1, which means we are, in practice, incrementing this by 1. It goes up to 9. And then our matching is complete. We compare S with S, that's a match. Compare A and A, that's a match. Compare D and D, and we're done. So the first example's done. Move on to the next one. Okay, so Brian brought bananas home. Uh, we'll go through this one a little bit faster. Um, we need M again, and we need I. M in this case is going to be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I is going to be equal to 5. And we're going to have to get our alphabet. And we're going to have to set some values here, um, which are all going to be equal to M, which is 6. And then we go back to up to banana. Look at the B. That's going to be index of 0 plus 1. Subtract that from 6. So you're going to subtract 1 from 6. And we get 5. Do this for A, 1, 2, 3, 4, A is equal to 4, we do this for N, N is equal to 3, and then we do it again for A, so we're going to replace this, 4 to 2, and we're going to do this for N as well, so N is going to be equal to 1, and then we stop, we don't do the last one. Okay, and then it's a simple job of comparing, so you compare A and underscore, move along 6, because underscore and 6, compare A and H, are they the same? No, so we move the whole thing along, compare A and A, are they the same? Yes, so what we do is we go along, A and A, N and N, A and A, and now we have this, B and N, so we know we haven't actually reached what we're looking for, but also it wasn't a complete failure. So what do we do? Do we move along by B? No. What we do is we look at the one that we were originally comparing, which will be the index at I, and we move along by this amount. So here this is going to be 2. And that's why we uh, made sure we didn't set A to 0, because otherwise this wouldn't work. So we're going to move this along by 2. And there we go. We've got the complete matching now. So we compare A and A, N and N, A and A, N and N, A and A, B and B, and that's the match. Okay, so to very briefly explain why this algorithm is good is because uh, if you were to do this um, without knowing about this algorithm, you might be tempted to do it the brute force way, which you would do by comparing T with E, T with R, T with W, T with H, T with I, T with O, T with H, T with N, blah, blah, blah. T with T, R with I, blah, 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 T with T, R with R, E with E, M and M, and that would be finished. Um, but we don't get the benefit of being able to skip over several characters at once, which we did with the uh, horse field, horse pool algorithm. Um, and so uh, this is massively less efficient. Um, the average case of the brute force method is O of N times M, which is actually the worst case of the Horsepool algorithm. The Horsepool algorithm uh, average case is going to be um, working out at uh, just M, and uh, just N rather, and N is equal to the length of the superstring. So much more efficient. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.